uh, Wendy here with a bit of fascinating Rodrigue history and a magnificent Rodrigue artwork that may be somewhat familiar, but also not so familiar to some of you. Yeah. In 1974, George Rodrigue first painted Jolie Blanc. It means pretty blonde based on the Cajun waltz that uh, story goes a prisoner in Port Arthur, Texas wrote about his love who left him for another. There are other stories too, um, but that's the story that George liked to cling to and the history that he loved. He painted this Jolie Blanc of 1974, um, well, in the middle of the night and from his imagination without a model, painted her. For himself. He did go on to paint her hundreds of times throughout his career. Um, I was very honored to model for him as Jolie Blanc quite a few times um, and he had numerous models for Jolie Blanc over the years but it's this first version that he painted from his imagination which is the one that truly is the quintessential image of that Cajun heroine. The waltz of course has gone on to become Oh, the Cajun anthem, really. Beautiful. So when George and I um, had an exhibition at the, first the Dixon Gallery and Gardens Museum in Memphis, Tennessee, and then the New Orleans Museum of Art in uh, 2008, first in 2007 in Memphis, 2008 in New Orleans, um, we wanted to borrow this painting. It was owned by a collector in Houston. Um, George had sold it years before and had always regretted having done so. The painting was one of his most famous that had gone on, in fact, to hang in Paris at Le Salon, which is a really rare honor for an American. It hung there um, in 1974. So what was he going to do? Because he could borrow the painting back. It only made him a little sadder that he didn't own it. And the folks made it clear that it's a family heirloom and treasure for them, understandably, and they probably wouldn't be loaning again. So what he did is when that exhibition happened, uh, first in Memphis at the Dixon and then at the New Orleans Museum of Art, he had the painting beautifully uh, photographed, professionally photographed for himself. And then he had that blended onto a canvas printed onto a canvas. But before he did that, he scanned it into his computer and he played with designs. He played with these very abstract designs. By this time, George was working a lot, specifically with Adobe Illustrator. And he had a very fancy computer by this time. So it's kind of nice to compare the two, isn't it? Also of interest is that this is a very small painting. It is approximately one fourth the size of the one we're looking at now. The original Jolie Blanc is only 24 by 18 inches. This is much larger than that, twice as tall, twice as wide. So he played with the imagery in the background in his computer and then printed the entire thing onto a canvas. And then he came back with his paintbrush and repainted her on top in a very contemporary way. What I love about this too is I didn't realize until I packed it for this museum show, I'm standing currently in Mona, the Museum of New Art in Portsmouth, New Hampshire, for the exhibition George Rodrigue, Painting for Myself. When I went to pack this painting, on the back I noticed on the canvas, George wrote, not for sale, only for exhibition in museums. So here we have it, first time on view since Noma in 2008. I hope that you get the chance to see it. The exhibition continues through January 2nd, 2024. And after that, it travels to Georgia's hometown of New Iberia, Louisiana, and uh, will be on view throughout most of 2024 in celebration of his 80th birthday, March 13th. I'll see you there.